Welcome back to a, another ES6 video. Uh, following on from the previous tutorial, we're going to be looking at destructuring nested objects and a few other things. Um, I've got an array here that I've expanded from the last tutorial that's got a, another object inside this particular object and this object and this object. And I just want to run through these. Uh, let me pull this up here. I just want to run through these and show you um, how we would work with this. So we could say, okay, we've got the people object above. We can just call this people and do a for each. Come on, give me the IntelliSense. Nope, doesn't work. Nope, does not want to work. So <clears throat> we're going to say, okay, we want to get favorite food. So as you can see here, callback function, okay, blah, 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 blah. Favorite food. And then we're going to say, okay, come out of here, give me the arrow function again. I'm going to explain that further videos. Favorite food, food. Let's look here. What do we get? Well, we get the food. Brilliant. We get the food as another object, which is kind of what I don't want. So what you could do, you could simply do remove this and we're going to say, okay, we want the food. Um, and then we are going to do favorite food because we've got favorite food here. We've already destructured our object from people, which is above. And then if we give this a refresh, we should get uh, da -da -da, console.log food. Did we already do that food? Um, what did I get here? Was I already logging that out before? I can't quite remember. Let me just look. Uh, what did we do? Favorite food. Okay, we already destructured it. Ah, there we are. Yeah, so we get the food. That's what I'll just show you. We get the food in there. Not exactly what we want, so we're just going to go ahead and say food equals favorite food. Uh, there we are. Um, so we, we, which is kind of what we want. We can just say, okay, that's our food. That's all we want in this case. Next, let's have a look. Um, we have the person up here. I'm just get rid of this. We have the person here, so we could just do okay. Cons favorite food equals uh, equals food equals person and favorite food. Favorite food is not defined. What are you talking about? Ah, food, sorry. So yeah, we get plants. That's nice. Um, next, let's see. Uh, there's a few quirks with this. Uh, what happens if I remove this? Or say, well, I'm destructuring already, so we can't be removing this, but say I remove this. We get undefined. Um, that should not be pulling it back like that. Let's check this. Food is undefined. Okay. Let's uh, look here. Get favorite food. Nothing. Okay. So what you could just do, give it a default object. Let's have a look. Favorite food is not defined because we're destructuring. So let's look at food. Undefined. Perfect. Let me add this back in there. Eating plants, what I call, we get that back. But what happened? I want to take this out, it should give me an error. Ah, it's giving me an empty object. Undefined. Favorite food, I should say. Burgers. Burgers, okay. Get rid of this. Food does not exist, undefined. Okay, give it a empty object. Still undefined. That's very strange. It should throw an error. Um, yeah, I'll come back to that one. I would have presumed it would have thrown an error. Oh, well, not an error, but it should have given me undefined at least. Why is it not giving me undefined? It's very strange. Um, I'm trying to figure. Let's see, so say we have, let's get rid of, let's get rid of favorite food completely. Completely gone, okay. Yep, 
Okay, and give me this. Um, there, undefined. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, frozen error, undefined. Then we give actual type of undefined. So, in a sense, so so. Let's just go back. So yeah, if you say you're going over a loop or you're expecting this to come back from a oh, an API and it's meant to have favorite food in there and it doesn't, just add in this default here. But there we are, perfect. Now, how do we look at nested? Um, get rid of that. How do we look at nested? Um, you probably already saw, I was just checking this out previously. But yeah, let's have a look how we get nested ones. So you see we've got this nested one here. We want to get right down to food. So we've got uh, an object, an object, and another object. So we have multiple objects. So let's just say favorite food, save that, is equal to person nested. And then we can go deeper into food and then we can just say okay give me eating and give me drink and if they're empty we just want to say empty give me an empty one eating and drink plants and water perfect so yeah that's how you go deeper into those and if you've got a default value try throw it at the beginning just in case so like so here, let's see where we're at. Um, yeah, so here, let's put it at favorite food. So let's uh, get rid of this. Eating of undefined, okay. You could do something like, um, oh, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. undefined. So you can put that in there, but you don't be wanting to do this all the time. So it, I don't know, it looks messy. Anyhow. That's how you do it, um, how to destruct nested objects. Fairly simple, uh, just follow the syntax for how you do just one destructure. So like so, and just give me the food, and there we are. So yeah, that's how you destruct nested objects. Thanks for watching.